uh, uh, thank Terry for the seven years of partnership that he and I, I have shared. Uh, I want to thank him on behalf of uh, uh, Fred and Jeff and certainly myself uh, for what he's put into the Mets over the last uh, seven years. Um, he took us from a situation where um, real questions about uh, the organization, about the team, and took us, uh, you know, to the apex of uh, a World Series. And, uh, you know, for that, together with the two, the two playoff appearances, uh, we will all be tremendously uh, grateful. Um, you know, I talked to Terry. Terry brought up the topic. Uh, we were on a road trip in Miami and brought up the possibility of uh, stepping down. And, um, you know, we agreed that we would talk about it over the next few days. And, uh, you know, here in Philadelphia, I think he came to the decision that that was uh, in the best his best interest. But uh, just as importantly, I think he was thinking about the organization and that it was the, in the best interest uh, of the organization. I agreed with him. I thought that uh, this was a time for change. Uh, change is difficult, but uh, uh, it comes with baseball. Uh, Terry's a baseball man. He's, he will be till the day he dies. And the fact that he's leaving this job won't change that. Uh, he'll continue to be an asset to the organization. Um, I hope he'll spend some time with our player development side as well as uh, doing other things for us. But. Um, I think he can be a tremendous help to us uh, going forward and getting us back to where uh, we want to be next season and beyond. Sandy, why was now the time in your mind, in Terry's mind, for that change to be made? Well, Terry's the longest tenured manager in uh, uh, Mets history, which is uh, a statement uh, in itself. Um, uh, we've gone through some up times. We've gone through some down times. Um, um, but I think in terms of, you know, Terry, his tenure, um, um, where he is mentally, emotionally, um, certainly not physically, he's very capable physically. I just think that, uh, you know, he expressed uh, uh, a concern about um, moving forward. And, um, you know, from our standpoint, I think we're at, we're at the end of a seven-year run and we, we – um, we need to make a change um, in direction. And uh, that's often a code phrase for um, changing positions and jobs um, uh, changing. And um, that's, I think, what we f foresee here. Sam, and what is important to you as you now look for the next person to do this job? Well, um, <clears throat> you know, leadership is probably the most critical uh, aspect of uh, uh, a manager's um, resume. Uh, leadership comes from professional competence. It comes from uh, what I'd call personal excellence. And uh, so from my standpoint, I think what we're looking for, as we were looking for in, in when, when Terry was hired, we're looking for uh, the ability to do, do the job as a professional, as a manager at the major league level, as well as uh, the personal qualities uh, the, that will allow a competent manager to sustain relationships over a period as long as seven years. Sandy, how would you sum up the seven years if you had to? I mean, obviously there were a lot of different stages of right. Terry's tenure here, but in your mind, how would you kind of sum up the overall well, I think, I think Terry had a great run, and I think, um, you know, it took us a while to get there um, with some issues that we faced uh, when he first arrived, uh, but we kept, kept at it. He kept at it, and, um, you know, we ended up uh, in the postseason two years in a row. Uh, last year, we overcame the injuries. This year, we weren't able to do that, um, but... Uh, um, you know, I, I would say that, uh, you know, his tenure corresponds with uh, uh, what, I, what I hope is the, uh, you know, sort of um, uh, rebirth, perhaps, of uh, the Mets organization. And I think he deserves a lot of credit for that. When do you expect to begin interviewing candidates mm -hmm. for, the, for the job? 
Well, we'll, we'll you know, we certainly will start soon. Um, you know, there's some other issues that we have to address. Um, I want to talk to the coaching staff and make sure they understand these circumstances because, you know, that's the unavoidable fallout of a change in manager that uh, coaching positions become um, uh, question marks. Um, <clears throat> and then we will, uh, we, we will, we will start in earnest uh, over the next few days. Uh, certainly don't want to waste any time. And, uh, um, you know, when Terry raised this, obviously we've been thinking about it, but, um, you know, we will now uh, do so in a, you know, more structured kind of formal way. If he didn't raise this, would you have fired him? Pardon me? If he didn't raise this, <coughs> we haven't, we never got to that point. And that's an issue, that's, that's an issue we never had to uh, uh, contemplate. Your pitchers have pretty, been pretty outspoken in support of Dan Moore. Then is that a factor in your decision going forward? I think players uh, input is uh, important and always uh, taken into account. Um, but, uh, you know, we will look at all of our coaching positions over the next couple of days. Does experience matter, like like I say, a, a new time, first time manager or versus an experienced someone that has done this job before? Like which weighs more heavily in your mind? Um, <clears throat> well, experience is a positive, but it might be outweighed by other positives uh, if, it's, if uh, that experience doesn't exist. So I think you have to look at the the total individual and I, I think as I as I just said a moment ago about the professional side as well as the personal side you know there's a there's an equation there that um, <clears throat> um, we'll have to balance so to the extent that experience exists fine to the extent experience doesn't uh, um, doesn't exist then we look at other things but experience has to be taken in a larger context also it's just not about managing at the major league level it's just not managing at the minor league level it's exposure to contemporary trends in the game and so you know it's not surprising that you've seen managers in recent years coming not just from the minor leagues or from a major league coaching staff but from a front office so I think experience has to be defined you know, in a in a broader uh, sense than um, we've typically thought of it. To that end, Sandy, how how have the traits and the characteristics in a manager changed from when you hired Terry back before 2011 to now? Not just in terms of analytics and the way the game is, but also where the organization is in terms of wanting to compete. Well, I don't think that uh, I don't think the criteria have changed all that much, uh, and I certainly don't want to suggest that under today's criteria. Terry wouldn't qualify. He certainly would. Mm -hmm. um, um, but at the same time, uh, you know, the game has evolved somewhat. And um, in, in looking at candidates, um, you know, we we'll want to make sure that uh, we're capable of, uh, as an organization, evolving with the game as well. How do you expect your own contract situation to play out here? Uh, I do expect to be back. So uh, I'll leave it at that. Cindy, why, why would you want to come back to the team and continue in that role? Well, again, you know, um, it's been a disappointing season. I think we have more in us. Um, uh, I personally take a lot of responsibility for um, unmet expectations. Um, I'm happy to have the opportunity to try to correct that. But, um, um, you know, any season is a challenge. Uh, a season following a, a season like this one will be challenging. But uh, honestly, following a World Series, uh, the following season is, is challenging maybe in different ways, but uh, equally challenging. So, um, you know, I think what made it tough for Terry is that he, he enjoys those challenges. I enjoy those challenges. And, um, you know, I'm hopeful that... Uh, Terry and I are going to continue to try to um, meet those with, with the Mets. Sandy, you, you mentioned earlier that kind of a general outline for where you could see Terry being helpful to this organization. In more specifics, do you have more specifics as to exactly where he could be best suited and what type of a role that might be? Well, first of all, Terry and I have not had a long conversation about it. I th uh, what I tried to do was make it 
clear to Terry that uh, we as an organization, you know, Fred and Jeff, but definitely myself wanted him to stay with the organization, felt that there was a lot he could offer. Um, and uh, so from that standpoint, um, you know, we will have the conversation and, and work out the, uh, the substance of his role. But uh, as I said, sort of off the top of my head, uh, in addition to his managing experience, uh, which could be invaluable to other managers we have in our system, um, also his his uh, experience in player development comes immediately to mind. And uh, you know, looking at the players we brought up from AAA this year and and, and other parts of our organization, um, I think we can use the help. Sandy, what do you see as like the biggest kind of initial priorities for this team, roster wise, in terms of improving? Um, well, look, I, I don't want to. I don't want to dwell on health, but, uh, you know, we get our starting pitching back. Uh, you know, the first two innings today were pretty encouraging. Uh, Noah's final pitch was 101, which we weren't all that excited to see. But nonetheless, his performance, I think, should leave uh, uh, a great taste in uh, uh, okay, our fans. So uh, I'll finish this one. <laughs> I don't know where Jay's going. Uh, <laughs> So the starting pitching has to come back. I like uh, where we sit preliminarily with the bullpen. Uh, we probably need another bat or two, but um, um, I'm excited to see what's going to be out there uh, for us. Sandy, okay. You, uh, there's a managerial change, but seasons after this, sometimes there's shakeups in the front office as well. I mean, coming off a year like that, did you feel there was any changes needed within the executive decision structure of the organization? Um. Uh, <coughs> No, I don't. I don't see. I, I don't know what you're referring to. But if you're referring to the front front office, I yeah, think that what you know there are two there are two considerations in um, in that area or in any area really. One is personnel, and one is systems. You know, uh, structure. And uh, very happy with the personnel that we have. The question is, do we have the right? Uh, organizational structure do we have the right level of communication all of those things that uh, you know certainly a season like this would cause us to take a look at.